X Sports Report Quickly became an anthem, sung by the Argentine players in their locker room, the Argentine fans in Qatar and the crowds that gathered at the iconic obelisk in Buenos Aires this week when Argentina earned a berth in Sunday's final against France. We want to win the World Cup and that song makes us dream, said Augustine Martin, a 23-year-old carpentry student walking by the obelisk, where crosswalks have been painted in the national blue and white and digital billboards flash endless World Cup publicity. Avoids attacks on rival soccer nations and focuses on Argentine nationalism. Boys we are now going to dream again I want to win the third one I want to be world champion for Eduardo Herrera an ethnomusicologist at Indiana University who has studied Argentine soccer chants, the unity they create feels a little like a religious experience. I don't think it's very different from when we go to a church or a synagogue and we recognize that others move the same way we move, he said. We kneel, we move our head or we say the same words. In Qatar, where two Argentine matches drew the tournament's largest crowds, nearly 90,000 people each, Muchachos could be heard everywhere. Matias Bola, a journalist who traveled to Qatar for the Argentine newspaper La Nación, said that the song has turned into one of the principal tourist attractions of the World Cup. Fans from other countries pull out their phones to film groups of Argentines at metro stations and markets singing the song that calls for Argentina to win its third World Cup. When he heard that Messi was a fan, my knees went weak, he told Argentine media. In Buenos Aires, it's impossible to miss signs of the World Cup. Argentine flags hang from balconies, cars and shop windows.